Okay, so we are finally gonna be running the Lord Slug stage of Movie Boss's Ultimate Red Zone. Uh, I actually meant to do this video yesterday along with the Lude stage for GT Bosses, but um, as I said in my top grossing video this morning, I literally had no access to the internet for a solid 24 hours because one of the largest service providers in Canada just decided to die. But anyways, uh, we're here now, that's all that matters. And recently I've really been loving this uh, GT Heroes team with the new LR Super Saiyan 4s. So we're gonna keep using it. This is the team, we got the double Super Saiyan 4s, uh, STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Fizz GT Goku, the GT uh, Go Bros, AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and also Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So on this first rotation, I'm probably gonna keep the Super Saiyan 4s together, but uh, just to be safe, I will be popping the Whis because I learned my lesson from the last video, and I've realized that these guys can hit really, really hard. So we got the Whis, and we should be okay now. I think unless we get like triple supered on this turn, which would really suck, but we should be fine. Okay, so we're starting here with a 24 key super for the Super Saiyan 4s, and then Goku should finish this guy off. And then for the GT Goku, we have... Okay, let's go to him, and we got 7, 8 orbs, which uh, should be some nice damage as well. Okay, so taking some good hits there, double digits, as expected. And we're getting 6.5 mil, very nice, with the guaranteed additional super and maybe a third super. We should at least kill one guy here, or, no, he's definitely dead. Okay, so one guy's down, we got two more to worry about, and hopefully we get at least one of them. I love it, okay, triple supers, let's go, triple supers, off to a great start. Beautiful. And then Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I mean, he should be able to one-shot here. He really should. Is he dead? I think he's dead. I think he's dead. And if this crits... Okay, so we didn't get the crit. We didn't uh, kill him, but it's fine, because either way, this will finish the job. And then we're gonna move on to, uh, I think there's two phases of Lord Slug. So the first phase for Lord Slug, three phases in total, just like the um, Turles before this. Now Turles honestly wasn't too bad, and Lord Slug stage so far is pretty decent, but I'm still gonna be cautious, so. I feel like I should still pop the item, although maybe we don't need it. Maybe we don't need it because we do have type advantage with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and then we have a lot of defense with the LR Super Saiyan 4s. So, do we really need an item is the question. Uh, I mean, if I put Super Saiyan 4 Goku there... Uh, I mean, his defense would be good enough, right? <laughs> I don't know, because I kind of want to save the waste for the next phase, so... I guess I'm going to leave Super Saiyan 4 Goku there. I'm going to give him one orb. Um, we still get the... We still get the 18k super for the LR. And then there's no attacks for the... Or against the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, which is obviously amazing. Because uh, we do have type disadvantage there, so that would have been an issue. Okay, so there's the super. Um, we don't counter, unfortunately, but we do tank really well, so I'll take that. Yeah, no, that's that's totally fine. That is totally, totally fine. Good job, Goku. I didn't, I didn't really trust you, <laughs> if I'm being honest, but he came through. He came through. Okay, and then only one super, that's fine. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is still gonna do some damage because of his, of course, attacks effective against all and if he wants to get an additional super I will not complain about that 
Okay, I'll take the normal. <clears throat> Alright, so no attacks. No attacks before we attack, so we can finish him off without taking any more damage. Um, should I keep Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta or the GT Goku? GT Goku for more damage, but I believe Vegeta will get more defense after a few attacks. I mean, it probably makes more sense to actually let Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta attack here um, to build his... Wait, hold on. He's not stacking defense, is he? Right, he's 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 building attack. It's Super Saiyan 4 Goku that builds defense on the super. So I guess um, we'll get one more... I'm gonna just go for the 12k super because I want them to... You know, stack, and I'm actually going to, I think, keep G. Oh, never mind. Okay, I was going to keep the GC Goku, but I realized we can't get a super off if we don't put Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta in the middle. So, we're going to keep this, and we can stack some defense, and we should finish off Lord Slug here either way. There we go. Perfect. And now, next turn, I can pop the um, Whis again, so we're safe for at least two turns. And do we use the active skill here is the question. Now I'm going to not skip the animation, just so you guys can see the glorious active skill here. Um, definitely going to pop the Whis, okay. And then I guess we'll put Super Saiyan 4. Goku there just because we don't have type disadvantage. Uh, yeah, screw it. Let's go for the active skill. Enjoy the animation. I'm sure you guys have seen this many times now, but I mean, it's it's so good that I feel like you, you just never can get enough. At least I can't get enough. You know, it's like, I don't think I'll ever get tired of seeing this animation. <clears throat> okay. Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, let's go, and now, um, let's see, I'll give just one orb to Super Saiyan 4, Goku, I'm really hoping that the first attack is not a super, because that would be awful, that would really suck, we wouldn't die, thank god, okay, we're good, <laughs> 8.4, 8.4 4 mil, uh, crit? Uh, no crit there. That's okay, he still did well. He still, still did well. And then we have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. 9 mil. Additional super. And give me one more. Give me one more. Come on. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was coming. I thought I thought it was coming. Okay, so two supers, um, really good damage there. And once we transform the other Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, then it's over. It, it's over. Unfortunately, we won't get to see the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta uh, active skill, like the um, actual like active skill attack for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. But <clears throat> not a huge deal. We're gonna see this animation one more time. Once again, guys, I, I can't get tired of it. If you if you have, um, you know, gotten bored of it, then feel free to skip ahead a little bit if you want. But I just don't understand how you could not want to watch this over and over again. <laughs> Maybe by the end of the anniversary, you know, it's going to get a little bit tedious. But right now, yo, it's still fresh. It's still new. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We can actually see this active skill. So there we go. We got everything. We got all the animations in here. Enjoy, guys. And there's no chance that Lord Slug survives this. Like, I, I, I don't see it happening. There's no chance. He's dead. For sure. And there you have it. That is the Lord Slug stage of uh, Ultimate Red Zone. We got the lewd one left, and then we're just waiting for, you know, the remaining stages to drop uh, over the course of the celebration. 
Um, the Broly one's gonna be interesting, because everyone tells me that's the hardest one. That's the one that's been kicking everyone's butt, so hopefully uh, it doesn't disappoint. Um, but yeah, guys, that is another stage down. I will be back for the loot event later today or maybe tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. But that's going to do it for, uh, for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.